What's up guys? Welcome. Whoa, this bench is shaky. You see that? There's just a random bench out here in the middle of nowhere and it's uh I should have tested that before beforehand. <laughs> ah, anyways, what's up guys? Welcome to another ridiculously sunny New Mexico day. So I'm out here hiking and I had a thought, which happens a lot. Or rather a challenge, maybe, maybe a challenge. So if I could give only one piece of advice to someone for how to instantly get better photos, what would that be? And this, the cool thing about this is it doesn't have to do with buying new gear or fancy lenses or cameras or epic Photoshop techniques or anything like that. This is something you can do no matter what you have. You can do it whether you have a phone that I don't have on me or a camera or it doesn't matter. As long as you have some picture taking apparatus, you can do this. So that to me, and this is my opinion only, is composition. So you guys, if you follow my channel, you know one of the biggest things I always say is shoot with intent. So that's the most important thing to me that you can do that will instantly raise the level of your photographs and your photography. And that's shooting with intent. And by that, in the most basic way, I mean composition. So I'm gonna go over three aspects of composition real quick with you guys. This is not gonna be a super in-depth tutorial. And it's by no means fully comprehensive or all-inclusive for composition, but I just want you guys to start thinking about these things, wrap your heads around them. Once you start thinking about these things and this composition rules, and you start doing these composition rules, that is the best, quickest thing to elevate your photography no matter what you have. All right, so the first guideline for composition is something called the rule of thirds. So what is the rule of thirds? Basically, it's any image that we look at, any square or rectangular image that we're looking at can be broken up into thirds. Thirds vertically and thirds horizontally. So the best way to see this is to turn on the grid function in your camera. Pretty much all cameras, whether it's a cell phone or a DSLR, will have the grid function built in to where you can see the rule of thirds. So that will help you if you're not used to visually seeing this. So why is the rule of thirds important? So there's like a ton of history and psychology about all of that, but we're not going to get into that. I just want you to know that breaking your images up into thirds vertically and horizontally and putting important elements onto those lines or those intersections is going to be immediately beneficial for the aesthetics of your image, of your composition. So if you have a person in a landscape, put that person on one of those thirds. If you have a horizon in a landscape, put that horizon on one of those thirds. If it's got a lot of clouds and you're emphasizing the sunset, then put the horizon on the lower third. That way you have a lot of the room for the clouds. If it's the opposite and you don't have any clouds like, you know, out here, then put the horizon on the higher third and focus more on the foreground. So that in a nutshell, in a very, very oversimplified nutshell, is the rule of thirds. All right, the next guideline for composition, something called leading lines. Hey, guideline, leading lines. <laughs> so what is a leading line? A leading line is something in the image that acts as a line to push you, to push your viewer's eyes toward a focal point in the image or to bring it into the image. So leading lines, they don't have to be lines. They could be lines like this in a road or something, and those are very hard leading lines, but they could also be like an S-curve in a river. They could be the actual river leading up to the waterfall. They could be uh, any number of things, any type of line or line-like thing that is pushing you to a focal point in your composition. That will help direct the viewers and show them what you want them to see. So think about leading lines, think about putting them in. Remember, they don't always have to be hard lines. They can be soft lines, you know, or whatever. They can be anything that's liney and pushes you in. So the last thing regarding composition that I want you guys to think about is balance and negative space. So having balance, having the proper balance in an image is very nice. If you don't have balance, then you tend to have areas of what we call negative space. And there are definitely times where negative space can be beneficial, but if it's not part of the story you're trying to tell, then it's going to hurt your story. So by having balance, you're creating symmetry. So if you've got something on your lower third right here, and then you've got, then you can put something on your higher uh, opposite third up there, and you have these opposites going on that creates balance. The same thing if you have something real low in the foreground and something higher in the background to balance those out 
then you're gonna have that symmetry and you're gonna have that balance. All right, so that's it. I'm not gonna go more into detail. I'm gonna try to keep this simple for today. Basically, it all boils down to if you take nothing else away from photography, if you can't buy any other gear and do all this other stuff and learn anything else, learn intent and learn the rules of composition. Once you start shooting with intent, thinking about everything that's in your frame, thinking about everything that's not in your frame, go study famous photographers and look at their images. Everything in their image is right where it's supposed to be and it has its purpose. And that's a very powerful thing. When you start looking at images that way and then you start taking pictures that way, that's the difference between taking a picture and making an image. And it doesn't matter, I cannot stress this enough, it does not matter whether you're using a cell phone or a huge camera, it just, the principles of art are there for every medium. So once you start moving your phone around, moving your camera around and looking for those compositions, instead of just whipping something out and snapping away, that is how you will instantly start getting better pictures. And yes, there is a ton of other techniques and photographic techniques and principles of art and all of that that will help lighting and editing and all that stuff. But the number one, if I could only give you one piece of advice right now, learn composition, shoot with intent, and that's it. That right there is the perfect start to immediately elevating your photography. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to shooting birds in the face because it's about to be golden hour and uh, we got a little ways to hike. So if you have any questions about anything that I talked about concerning the composition, leave those down below and I will definitely answer them. If you haven't already, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that like button if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.